The beach takes the floor. You see Davis already out there waiting for him as we are set for basketball from the pyramid in Long Beach. The beach will be moving from right to left here in the first half on your radio dial. And you see Davis from left to right. The seven-foot center, Mike Kurtz, will jump things up for the Aggies. T.J. Robinson will jump it up for Long Beach State. As our head official tosses the basketball in the air, the tip is won back by Robinson right to Casper Ware. And Long Beach State has our first offensive possession of the ball game. It's Robinson at the right wing, guarded by Harden. Finds Anderson at the free throw line. Nice entry pass into the post. And a foul will be called as Eugene Phelps was on his way to the hoop. That'll be a two-shot opportunity for Eugene as the beach guards are doing a great job feeding the post as of late. They are in a great first possession for the beach finding Eugene Phelps. He's just not going to be able to be defended down there in the low post as we see him make the first free throw by Mike Kurtz. Kurtz has got a few inches on Eugene, almost a half a foot, but Eugene's so much stronger with that experience. He's just going to be able to dominate Kurtz. So let's see if they continue to try and exploit that mismatch. And yeah, Mike Kurtz, the true freshman at seven foot, 200 pounds. Eugene Phelps makes both free throws, so it took 12 seconds, and Long Beach State has the 2-0 advantage. Ryan Silva, who missed both games between these two schools last year because of injury, feeds the ball left side to Seitkins, now up top to Harden, and he'll feed it back to Seitkins, who's going to back it out near midcourt. Matched up with Casper Ware. He'll pass right side to Miller, lob it into the low block to Harden. The ball swiped away from behind and out of bounds. Nice job by Casper Ware, the off guard, to come over and help and prevent what might have been an easy shot opportunity for Joe Harden. So with 14 seconds to shoot, baseline right on the inbound pass for UC Davis. It's thrown over the top, right to Miller. His pass is deflected and stolen away by Casper Ware. Good job by Casper to read the passing lane. He'll pull up, launch a 17-footer, miss it long. Rebound is loose, taken in the corner by Silva. He'll race the other direction, the shortest man on the floor tonight at five foot nine and a half. Here's Harden, free throw line extended with a jumper, and he puts it in. That's a shot that he excels at. He loves to go to, to his left and pull up, and he's deadly when he does it. One minute into the first half, or even at two. Here's Ware, double teamed. They're kicking into the corner. Greg Plater passed up on the first look. Now he'll launch a three, and he knocks it down. Big boost for the beach. Plater coming into this game, just making two of his last 14 field goal attempts, so it's good to see Greg off to a good start. Greg DeLone, senior on the floor for Long Beach State. As his first three-point bucket of the night, it's five to two beach, a minute and a half into our opening period. Ryan Seitkins will skip it near side to Harden. Harden elbow extended, backs it out right side of the lane. Now he'll feed it a little bit further to the outside to Miller and up top to Seitkins with nine to shoot. Around a Harden screen, he'll pull up from 18 feet, miss short, rebounded by Eugene Phelps, and the beach can come the other way. Here's Larry Anderson into the front court, up top to Phelps, right side to Casper Ware, around a Phelps screen, finds Phelps rolling to the bucket, and his layup is good. Gorgeous pick and roll operated by the beach. Eugene finding the perfect hole to the basket. 7-2 Long Beach, the 17-57 to go in the period. Here's Joel Harden, guarded by Phelps. Bounce pass right elbow to Mike Kurtz. He'll face the bucket, pass it right wing, and an open jump shot is good. That'll be a two-pointer for Joel Harden. He had his foot on the line. Make it 7-4 Long Beach State, 17-41 to go in the period. Here's Casper Ware for the beach. To the top of the key, left side Anderson. Now into the post to TJ. One dribble, outside Greg Plater. He'll refeed the post. Robinson turns to the baseline. Shot is off balance. I don't know how he got it to go in, but Robinson able to bank it home. That's his shot, Rob. It's uh, <laughs> unorthodox, but he finds a way to put it in almost every single time. Robinson's first bucket of the game. It's 9-4 to four beach. 17-13 to go. Here's Joe Harden. Found himself open at the right baseline. Line, worked himself to the middle, took a tougher shot, and missed it off to the left. The rebound for Long Beach State. Here's Casper Ware trying to extend the five-point lead, and on his penetration attempt, he's held up by Seitkins, who collects his first foul. That'll reset the shot clock. You have to like what you've seen out of Long Beach offense so far. Oh, they're playing together. They're sharing the ball, moving it around. Great ball movement, great player movement, as we've seen the past couple of weeks. Larry Anderson will look to rebound. He took a lot of time, and then he threw the ball right to UC Davis and Ryan Silva. He'll work the other way, find Seipkins open for three, missed it well long. The rebound kicks out of bounds, and it will be off of UC Davis. So the beach got a break, a poor inbound effort by Anderson, wound up in an open jump shot for Seipkins, but he was well strong, and the beach gets the basketball back still with that five-point advantage. 
We know UC Davis can shoot from the outside. One of the better three-point shooting teams in the conference as Eugene Phelps kicks it outside Anderson. Up top, Robinson for three. He missed it off to the right. Offensive rebound to Phelps. He got held. No foul call. Kick out Ware for three. No good. Back into the rim. And rebounded long by Silva. He'll race to the bucket. Layup is blocked away. Blocked away by Anderson from behind. Here comes Larry into the front court. Into the corner. It's Greg Plater for three. Missed it short. Offensive rebound, Phelps. It's swiped away and out of bounds. It'll still be Long Beach ball as the shot clock reads 35 seconds. The beach is attacking the offensive glass. They have the momentum as they get Edis Diversivic into the game for the first time. Eugene Phelps will go out, but a very good start for Eugene. Four points and three rebounds. Dominating the offensive glass, giving the beach second chance opportunities nearly every time down the court. Tristan, the guard at 6'5", 200 pounds, a senior from Chicago. Eugene Phelps comes back in for the beach. T.J. Robinson sits. So it's Diversivic, Phelps, Wilson, Plater, and Anderson, as we see a lot of different lineup combinations being tried out by Long Beach State. But for the most part, it's the same seven players. As Richard goes up top to Tiffin, Diversivic backs away from him defensively. Bounce pass into the near corner now. It's Harden up top to Richard. Swings it left side to Seipkins. Everything on the perimeter early in the possession as Seipkins makes his way into the lane. Almost turned it over, but it deflects right to Miller. His 14-footer is up and good. And he Miller, right place, right time, coming up with that loose ball. Big possession for UC Davis to get on the board. Long Beach State must do a better job of taking care of ball on the offensive end. Already five turnovers, Rob. Their lead is down to one at 9-8. We played six minutes of our first half. Here's Larry Anderson guarded by Harden at the far side wing. Bounce pass, low post, in and out of the hands of Eugene Phelps, and the ball goes out of bounds, so there's turnover number six. Just sloppy, careless turnovers. They're getting carried away. We saw Edis with that behind the back pass uncharacteristic of him. Beach must do a better job of taking care of the basketball. Long Beach State has shot three out of eight here in the first half. That's 37 percent. UC Davis not much better. Three out of ten for 30 percent. As Miller, the University of California transfer, feeds it up top to Tippin. And now far wing, it's Seipkins. Seipkins around a high screen. Looks to hand off to Richard. The beach switches up defensively. Richard picks up the dribble at the top of the key. Right side to Seipkins. Launches a three with five seconds on the shot clock. Misses it back side of the rim. The long rebound to Greg Plater. The beach has a three on two. Here's Diversivic into the paint. Nice feed underneath, but the layup is no good from Eugene Phelps. And rebounded by the trailing Alex Tiffin. The Aggies want to run. Here's Richard for three. Missed it long. Rebound deflected. Nice job by Joe Harden as he swatted the ball away from two Long Beach players and taken by his teammate Ryan Seipkins. The Aggies have 28 seconds to work with as Harden handles. Far side post trying to back in on Larry Anderson. Stolen away from behind. Edis Diversivic. He'll break the other direction. Layup is no good. He missed it strong. No foul called as Edis went plowing into the store stanchion. Back the other way comes Joe Harden, whose layup is waved off, and they will call him for an offensive foul. Nice job by Greg Plater, who took the charge. Excellent job by Plater to get himself in the proper defensive position to get that charge call. But I am very impressed with UC Davis's ability to get back on the defensive end. Rob Long Beach State is trying to push the tempo of this game, take advantage of those opportunities that they have in transition. UC Davis just isn't allowing it to happen. They're playing step for step with the beach right now, but this game would be much different the beach not committed six turnovers to this point. That foul on Joe Harden was his first. He checks out, and Ryan Howley comes in, a redshirt sophomore, 6'5", 195, from Singua High School in Flagstaff, Arizona. As Casper Ware handles the dribble, bounce pass to the right wing, Larry Anderson around a Robinson screen, bounces it to TJ in the low right block. Good feed into the lane to Phelps, got himself up in the air, finds Wilson going to the hoop, and his layup is in. That's how you get the job done. Simple passes don't make it more complex than it has to be. And a nice finish from Tristan Wilson, who has shown that he has a lot of accuracy within 10 feet of the basket. It's 11-8 Long Beach State, 12.05 to go in the first half. Here's Richard, right in front of our broadcast location, handoff to Silva, matched up with Casper Ware, looking for Howley, but the ball deflects in and out of his hand, hits the bottom side of the backboard, out of bounds, and that'll turn it over to Long Beach State. So the beach gets the basketball when we come back. 11.58 remaining in the first half from the pyramid. It's 11-8 49ers. We're back after this. 
in college after graduating from St. Mary's High School. He's from Acampo, California, which is outside of San Francisco by about an hour. Long Beach State will have the basketball, trying to build on their three-point advantage as Casper Ware crosses the mid-court stripe, works himself to the right wing, picks up the dribble, and then bounces it left side to Larry Anderson. He'll back it back out and set up the offense, feeding it right side to Phelps. Finds Wilson up top, Ware, left side Anderson, dribbles the baseline, got cut off, and stepped out of bounds. Nice job coming over by Alex Tiffin to cause the turnover. That's Larry's third turnover. Just careless, trying to make a little bit too much happened very eager unfortunate turnover for the beach larry has yet to score as a matter of fact he's yet to take a shot as joe harden handles in the offensive front court for uc davis finds richard near side now they bounce it to harden in the post he'll kick it out to tiffin stop at the free throw line outside harden now left wing beyond the three-point arc to silva silva is a senior but he doesn't play much finds tiffin right side richard penetrates around the outside back to silva again and as he feeds it into the post a foul called from behind with only seven seconds on the shot clock it's called on Casper Ware, who is holding Joe Harden. Casper getting caught in a switch situation there. The undersized Ware committing the foul on Harden in that low post. Team foul number two on the 49ers, a non-shooting foul. So the Aggies get it out of bounds as Silva launches a three out of the deep corner, and he puts it in. And that's what this guy does. 36 out of his 43 field goal attempts this season from beyond the arc. Very good shooter. And that ties our game at 11. It's the first time UC Davis has been even since it was two apiece within the game's first minute. Here's Eugene Phelps feeding it to Casper Ware, works himself to the top of the key, and a blocking foul will be called. Alex Tiffin coming over to double team. So Tiffin has his first, fourth team foul on the Aggies. Eddie Miller comes back in. Ryan Howley will head to the bench. Miller's an interesting story. He didn't play much at the University of California, Berkeley. He was there for two full seasons, but only competed in 15 total games. He transfers to Davis, and now he's been the leading scorer for the Aggies in four of the last five contests. Here's Larry Anderson, bounce pass from the free throw line as he finds Wilson at the far baseline, and his floater is up and good. Wilson loves that little push shot with the right hand. Back the other way comes Eddie Miller, whose layup is in. Nice job by Eddie to get the long outlet pass. Not afraid, even though he was outmanned one on three. Got himself to the hoop, converted on the layup, even in the game at 13 apiece. Here's T.J. Robinson going to the hoop. His initial shot hits the bottom side of the rim. He gets his own rebound, but as it's stolen away by Josh Richard. So the Aggies take the basketball and a chance to have their first lead as Joe Harden puts up a three and knocks it down. And wouldn't you know it, Joe Harden stepping out from beyond the three-point line. Only his fifth three-point make the entire season. So... Doesn't do it very often, but he can get it done. Nine points to lead all scorers for Joe Harden. It's 16-13 Aggies. We're just past the midway point of our first period. Here's Eugene Phelps for Long Beach. At the right wing, finds Casper Ware. Stutter step, left side Robinson. To the baseline to Wilson. He'll feed it, low left block to Phelps. Kick out Wilson for three from the near side corner. No good. And the rebound for Alex Tiffin. Good job in the early going by Tiffin on the glass. And also moving his feet a lot defensively, coming over to help out quite a bit. He has done a fantastic job in his five or so minutes of action. Here's Richard right in front of us. Makes a dangerous pass but it finds Tiffin. He'll move to the baseline out of the free throw line as his pass is stolen away. Taken away by Eugene Phelps. The outlet goes from Casper Ware looking for Anderson. It goes out of bounds and nobody touched it. It was a lob pass intended for Larry but it hit the net and Larry couldn't quite adjust and didn't make a play on the ball. And yet another their turnover for Long Beach State. That is the ninth in just 11 minutes of action. They got to do a better job of taking care of the ball. That's one of the aspects that could cause them to struggle and possibly lose this game. Greg Plater back in for the beach. Tristan Wilson will sit. Plater, Robinson, Phelps, Anderson, and Casper Ware, the five on the court for Dan Munson's squad as Ryan Silva handles for UC Davis. They try to feed it into the post. It's Harden, able to wrestle the ball away from Larry Anderson, tries to turn and back in on Larry and causes a foul to be called. Larry collects his first and the team's fourth as Ryan Seitkins will come back in for UC Davis. And Silva will head to the bench. 
Interesting that UC Davis playing with only nine players tonight because of the two injuries to Lowenthal and to Payne. Let's see what they do with their setup offensively as Seipkins handles at the left wing, kicks it out. It's Richards, stops at the baseline, feeds it into the post. Nice spin move by Tiffin, but his shot is deflected off the glass. No good. Nice recovery by Eugene Phelps and taken by Larry Anderson. Anderson, with his team trailing it by three, finds Plater in the corner. He'll kick it out. Larry launches a three. In and out. Offensive rebound, Eugene Phelps. Putback is no good. And this time, Joe Harden collects the dish. It's 16 to 13, Aggies. We near eight minutes to go in the period. The Beach is still out rebounding Davis, 12 to nine. Unfortunately, they're not converting much when they get the basketball underneath. As Harden skips it far side, it's Seipkins into the paint, finds Tiffin, open jumper from 15 feet is an air ball. It goes nearly out of bounds, saved by Greg Plater, but he saved it to the wrong team. Here's Joe Harden for three, no good short. Rebound Eugene Phelps. The Beach can slow it down if they want to, but they're not going to. Here's Larry Anderson up and under misses and rebounded by the Aggies. The Beach is having a lot of trouble scoring the ball. They're 5 out of 17 from the field. And the Aggies still with that three-point lead. They're shooting 33%, which has been good enough. Here's Seipkins in the lane amongst the trees. Fades away about five feet away. Shot is no good. The rebound for T.J. Robinson and a timeout taken by Long Beach State. This is a very good time for Dan Munson to take this timeout. His team is kind of all over the place on both ends of the floor. So the Beach is trying to do their best on these defensive possessions. For the most part, they're preventing the easy buckets, but UC Davis still with that four-point lead. All due to turnovers. If Long Beach State took better care of the ball, they'd have a lot more points and probably a big advantage. Tristan Wilson is out. Larry Anderson back in as the inbound goes to Miller. He'll streak the right side of the key, misses the shot, and on the rebound, a foul will be called. The near side official saw Miller go over the back. So Eddie has his first. Now 16 fouls on the Aggies, so one more and they'll be over the foul limit. And the Beach, who has been doing a lot better at the line, shooting free throws as of late, could take advantage. We'll have to wait and see. 420 to go in the first half, 19 to 15 Aggies. Here's TJ Robinson. Left wing, it's Greg Plater. Works himself back out to the head of the circles. Now Casper Ware, far side corner. And away from the ball, TJ Robinson, who got the feed, stepped out of bounds. TJ, who got that pass in the post, standing a little bit too close to the baseline. And, and yet another turnover for the beach. These guys got to get it together. They're lucky that they're only down by four. Richard is back in for UC Davis. And Joe Harden will get what I'm sure will be a very brief rest. He's their main cog offensively. Ryan Silva, far side wing, up top to Richard. Richard guarded by Robinson, finds Seipkins right in front of us. Seipkins facing the bucket, uses the left-handed dribble, circles to the free throw line, and his pass is stolen away by Larry Anderson. Break away to the bucket, and he jams it in with both hands. Larry, so effective playing those passing lanes. It seems like he gets two or three steals every game doing that. Here's Silva the other way. It's 19 to 17, Davis. Their lead down to two with 3.30 to go in the period. Silva, the 5'10", 175-pounder, finds Seipkins 30 feet from the basket to Silva in front of the Long Beach bench. Skips it far side to Richard. He'll dribble toward the baseline. Good defense by T.J. Robinson. Prevents him from getting to the hoop. Seven seconds to shoot. Seikens around a tipping screen. Hand off to Silva. He's going to have to hurry. Launches an off-balance shot. In and out. Rebound goes out of bounds. And it's off of UC Davis. So Long Beach State will have a chance to tie with a two or take a three and get the lead when we come back. 3.06 to go in our first half. It's Davis 19, Long Beach State 17. We're back after this. Anderson, Plater, Ware, Phelps, and Robinson for the beach. Long Beach State will have the basketball. Inbounding in the backcourt is Eugene Phelps as he feeds it to Casper Ware. And Ware will walk across the midcourt stripe, works himself to the right wing, finds Plater in the corner. One dribble for the third leading three-point shooter in school history, Greg Plater. 15 seconds to shoot. It's Casper Ware on a Eugene Phelps screen at the left wing. Picked up on a double team. Bounces it out high to Plater into the far 
far corner, TJ Robinson with nine to shoot. He finds Larry Anderson. Larry's backing away from the hoop, and he's going to have to hurry. Five seconds to shoot. He'll put up a three, miss it long. Rebound, TJ Robinson. Kicks it outside, Plater. Nice feed to a streaking Anderson, who's fouled on his way to the hoop. They'll wave off the putback shot, which did go in. It was an amazing shot by Larry, but it did not count. Instead, he'll shoot a pair of free throws. Great effort by TJ Robinson to keep that ball alive, getting it to Greg Plater in the corner, who then, who then saw Larry Anderson making that sharp cut to the basket. Larry so effective when he gets into the teeth of the defense. Anderson at the free throw line, knocks down the first on the year. The Beach has a team, 65%, which is much better than a season ago. Anderson right near the team average at 62%. He misses the second one, but the rebound goes right to Robinson. He'll kick it out to Plater, steps in toward the bucket, and knocks down a long two. That's a big-time basketball move to be able to pump fake, get your feet, and elevate for the second shot. The Beach shows their full-court trapping defense. They nearly caused a turnover, but Joe Harden able to gather it in after it bounced off the net underneath his own hoop. It's 20 to 19 Long Beach. They regain the lead. We reach two minutes to play in our first half from the pyramid. It's Silva feeding it to Alex Tiffin, far side high post. He'll kick it out to Harden. Harden surveys the defense, uses the right-handed dribble, works himself to the elbow, kicks it out to Silva. Four seconds to shoot. Silva underneath the bucket, finds Seipkins for three. Got it! Big With time. the shot clock expiring. That's right. Ryan Seipkins is a big-time shooter. Great end-of-possession management by the Aggies. They've knocked down four out of nine from beyond the arc and have a two-point advantage, 22-20. to 20. Here's Eugene Felt outside to Larry Anderson. He had a good look at the basket, but didn't take the shot. Instead, dribbles into the paint. Nice feed underneath the Phelps, and his right-handed layup is good. That's the Long Beach State that we've grown accustomed to seeing these past couple of weeks. Greg Plater has a team-high seven. Eugene Phelps just below him with six, and it's 22-22. We near one minute to play. Tiffin at the right elbow extended, and off to Harden. Works himself to the free throw line, hands off to Seipkins. He lost the ball momentarily, but tracks it down near midcourt. The Beach is switching up on everything defensively as Seipkins thought about taking a three from the far wing, but passed up on it. Six seconds to shoot. Seipkins at the top of the key. Bounces at free throw line. Harden with an off-balance jumper. No good. He missed it short. Rebound T.J. Robinson. The Beach can run here. It's Casper Ware to the right wing. Into the corner, Larry Anderson. He'll drive baseline. Gets himself underneath the hoop, and his left-handed layup is in. Not often we see Larry use that left hand, but very effective this time kissing it off the window for the nice looking deuce. And the 30 second timeout is taken by UC Davis. It's 24-22 Long Beach State. Joe Harden is the leading scorer for Davis. He has nine points, but he's only three out of nine from the field. So the defense on Harden actually hasn't been all that bad. As the inbound pass goes to Silva, he'll walk it across midcourt. Let's see what Davis looks to do with the final offensive possession of the half. It's Richard finding Tiffin in the post, stolen away from behind by Ware. Throws the ball into the front court blindly, and it's stolen right back. Here's Seipkins. It looked like he traveled. No call. Harden now underneath the hoop, and his layup is in. The beach has one second to go in the period. Greg Plater launches one no good from about three-quarter court. And that ends the first half with our score. Long Beach State 24, UC Davis 24. Have inside TJ and Eugene so much stronger than the opponents guarding them. They should be able to have their way on the interior nearly every time they touch the ball. UC Davis will have the basketball to begin the second period. They'll be moving from right to left. Davis in the blue, Long Beach State in the white as we are set for basketball again here at the Pyramid. 24-24 halfway through the game. The beat shot 38% in the first 20 minutes. UC Davis at 34% as the inbound pass goes into the backcourt to Ryan Silva, trying to work himself into the offensive end. Picked up defensively by Casper Ware. He'll feed it right side to Miller. Bounce it, low right block. Facing the bucket now is Harden. Puts it on the floor. Trying to go to work on Eugene Phelps, who defends him well. Has to kick it out to Silva with 15 to shoot. He'll skip it near side 
inside to Miller. Miller back to the basket, finds Silva. He'll put up a three, and he knocks it down. Eugene just can't afford to give him that space. Silva doesn't want to put the ball on the floor. He's a three-point shooter, nothing more. Fifth three-point make in the game for UC Davis, and they have a three-point lead at 27-24. Here's Phelps into the paint. Into the far corner it goes to Anderson. He finds Plater. Nice feed into the block as he got it to Robinson. He turns to the baseline and lays it up and in. So T.J. Robinson on the board quickly here in the second half. It's 27-26, about one minute in. As Seipkins handles, bounces it, high left end. It's going to be Harden skipping it right side to Silva around a screen. It goes into the corner now to Seipkins. He'll dribble baseline. Good feed underneath to an open Harden, and all he has to do is lay it up and in with the right hand. So Joel Harden with his first two points of the second half. He now has a game high 13. Back the other way comes Casper Ware. And on his move to the hoop, he gets held up. Let's see who the foul is called on. It may be Seipkins. Nope. Instead, it will be Harden who collects his second. And we see that the beach is making a concerted effort to get the ball inside, whether it be via the pass or dribble penetration. Baseline left on the inbound. Here's Casper Ware with a fadeaway two, and it's good. Extremely difficult shot. Casper's first basket in tonight's ballgame after having over 20 points in the last two. He's now just one for four from the field and shockingly has one assist. And we've played all Already a minute and a half of our second period. It's 29-28 UC Davis. Here's Joe Harden back to the basket. He took a big jump move, but no travel was called. He kicks it cross court to Seipkins. Back to Harden at the high right block. He'll hand off to Miller. Dribbles it to the baseline. Got caught underneath, but finds Harden somehow at the right wing. Harden with three to shoot to the free throw line. Finds Miller, and the shot clock expires. Nobody recognized that the shot clock was about to go off. Harden needed to take that shot. It's really not on Miller. Not at all. That's fantastic all-around defense from Long Beach State getting up and putting pressure on UC Davis and just totally confusing their attack on that possession. Alex Tiffin is back in. He had a very solid first half defensively. Mike Kurtz goes out. So although the Aggies don't have a ton of size, and the size they do have isn't all that skilled, they're doing a nice job on the interior. As Eugene Phelps has it at the free throw line, turns, faces the bucket, puts it on the floor, and gets fouled on his penetration move. Held up by Alex Tiffin, who collects his third. That's going to be a very difficult matchup for Tiffin if Eugene can catch the ball inside of 15 feet with his dribble still alive. Eugene, very explosive first step, getting the contact. 29-28 Davis. The inbound pass goes to Greg Plater. He'll bounce it a couple of times. Feed it up top to Casper Ware. Left wing Anderson into the corner to Plater. Fade away three. Got it! Greg not hesitating at all on that shot. Knocking down the trifecta for the beach. His second three-point hit in the game as Harden comes back the other way with a long two. It rims out, rebounded by Eugene Phelps. The Beach looks to add to their lead. Here's Larry Anderson to the free throw line. Outside Phelps into the corner. Plater for three. Missed it off to the left. And on the rebound, a foul will be called on Eugene Phelps. As he went over the back of Eddie Miller, that was a chance to get the good feeling going for Greg, but he came up empty. Yeah, beautiful recognition by Eugene to see Plater wide open on that right wing and deliver a perfect pass in shooting position. 31 to 29, 49ers, 17 minutes, 10 seconds to go in our ball game. Here's Seipkins for UC Davis. Up top to Joel Harden. Matched up with Eugene Phelps. He finds Seipkins again at the left wing and now back to Harden as they play pitch and catch. Harden will bounce it left side to Tiffin. Faces the bucket. Finds Seipkins again at the near side wing. He'll bounce it into the high block. It's Harden. Turns, faces the bucket. Dribbles the ball a little bit too much. Loses it off his foot. Recovers. Launches along two. Misses short. And on the rebound, the ball goes out of Bounds off of Tiffin. So the Aggies come up empty on that possession, and the Beach retains their two-point lead. Beach has increased their intensity on the defense dramatically, totally discombobulating the attack of the Aggies. You know, sometimes Joe Harden just seems like he dribbles the ball too much, looking for an opening. He needs to share the ball with his teammates. Here's Greg Plato with a behind-the-back pass, stolen away. Second Long Beach player that's tried that tonight. The other one, Diversivic. Both have resulted in steals, and this time a conversion on the other other end by Ryan Seipkins, who knocks one down about five feet away in the lane. So the Beach needs to concentrate on better passes instead of those sloppy behind-the-back looks. This time, it turned into two points on the other side for the Aggies. Make basketball as simple as you can. Don't try to make it complex. Basketball is a very easy game, very simple game. If played correctly, you can do things 
very well, but the beach is uh, still struggling right now, Rob. As Larry Anderson will run the point on this possession, even though Casper Ware is in the game. Let's see what the set play calls for, as Ware has trouble with the handle at the near side wing. Bounces it up top to Eugene Phelps. Left side to Anderson. He falls down, but finds Eugene. Stops at the free throw line into the corner to Greg Plater, and now back outside to Casper Ware. They double team him. Nice feed underneath the Phelps, and he jams it in with both hands. That's the Long Beach State we know. Casper Ware with the great court vision, making a perfect pass, knifing it through two defenders. 33-31 Long Beach, 15-50 to go. This reminds me a lot of the conference games from a year ago. Mm -hmm. Even though you're playing a team that appears outmanned on paper, certainly highly competitive throughout. Mm -hmm. As the ball's lost out of bounds, knocked away by Larry Anderson, you see Davis will retain possession with 15 to shoot when we come back. The under 16 minute media timeout with 15.38 remaining from the pyramid. It's 33-31 Long Beach State. We're back after this. To TJ and Eugene. When was the last time at this point in a game you can remember TJ Robinson with just four points on two out of four shooting. As Davis has the basketball in the front court, the inbound pass goes to Miller. He'll feed it up top to Seitkins, guarded defensively by Casper Ware. Now it's left wing time and Joe Harden circles around the perimeter and hands it off to Seitkins at the far side wing. One second to shoot. Seitkins doesn't realize it and that will be another shot clock violation on you UC Davis, it's their second in their last three possessions. And do nothing other than to pour recognition coming out of a timeout. You have to be conscious of where that shot clock is at, and they just had absolutely no idea out there. As Ryan Howley comes back in, Seipkins will sit. It's been a decent day for Ryan Seipkins. Eight points on three out of seven shooting. He's also knocked down a pair of threes. Here's Casper Ware for Long Beach. Has his pass deflected. Gets it back at the near side wing. Kicks it out to Anders. Around the outside, it goes to Greg Plater in the far corner. Plater gets double team, finds Robinson in the post. He'll pull up from 15 feet, miss it short, and on the rebound, a foul on Davis. This one will be on Howley, who pushed off on Eugene Phelps. I think the reason why TJ missed that shot is because first he saw Eugene was wide open underneath the basket, wanted to get him the ball, then decided secondly to take that shot, and his rhythm and concentration were just a little bit off. So a fresh 35 seconds to work with as the inbound pass is lobbed over the top to Robinson. He forces one up with the left hand and comes up empty. The rebound for UC Davis and Josh Richard. Pretty good box out that time by the the undersized Aggies. 14.49 to go, 33-31 Long Beach State. Here's Joe Harden bouncing it, free throw line extended to Richard. He'll turn, face the bucket. He'll bounce it right back to Harden in the low block. Gets himself underneath. His layup attempt is no good. Rebounded by Robinson, his eighth rebound of the game. Here comes Casper Ware. Got himself up in the air. Finds Greg Plater. Plater with a crossover dribble to Phelps. Now down low to Robinson. Gets triple team. Loses the basketball. It's on the floor. TJ gets it back and a three second violation on Robinson. I'm not sure how you can call three seconds when the ball's loose. You can't. There's no possession. If there's no possession, there's no three second count. Very poor call by the official. It goes down as turnover number 14 on Long Beach State. How about that? They've only been to the free throw line today four times. So wonderful defensive play by UC Davis as Howley has trouble. The ball knocked away from him. He crosses over midcourt to go get it, which he's allowed to do after it was deflected by Larry Anderson. Miller. Finds Richard at the top of the key. He'll dribble into the paint. Good defense by Robinson. Fadeaway jumper is up and puts it in. Extremely difficult shot by the freshman Richard. That evens the game at 33 as a bad lob pass intended for Anderson is stolen away by Howley. You see Davis can take the lead. Here's Silva. Thought about driving. Never dragged the pivot foot. Skips it near side to Richard. Richard bounce pass to Harden. Harden guarded by the much shorter Casper Ware, but he didn't look to drive on him. Now they recognize it, want to post him up. Good switch defensively as Phelps now defends from behind. Steals the ball away. Nice job by Eugene. The outlet to Casper. Two on one to the bucket. Layup is no good, but a foul. And a pair of free throws coming for Casper Ware. And that time it was a much better job of making the right decision by Casper Ware. Casper had Larry coming down that left side of the court. And in the past, we probably would have seen an attempt at an alley-oop. But Casper, recognizing the fact that Long Beach State not making the right decisions, putting his head down down, 
jumping, exploding to the hoop, putting the onus on the official. Good job by Casper Ware. So this will be just a fifth three th a free throw attempt tonight for Long Beach State as Casper Ware, the best on the team, comes up empty. Edis Diversovic and Tristan Wilson are back in. Robinson and Anderson will rest for the beach. Miller goes out for UC Davis. And Seitkins returns. One more free throw coming for Casper Ware and a chance to give Long Beach a one-point lead. It's on the way and good. 34-33 Beach, 13-20 to go. As Casper Ware's had a rough day offensively, just three points and two assists. Far below his averages of 14.8 points and over six assists a game leading the conference. Here's Seitkins, far wing, up top as he finds Richard. Richard uses the right-handed dribble, works himself into the corner, now back to the basket, kicks it out back near midcourt to Silva. He'll dribble the right side of the paint. Bad pass. He was looking for a Harden, but he threw it so hard that Harden had no chance, and the ball went off his hand out of bounds. Oh, yeah, Silva rifled that in there, and as you said, Rob, no chance of catching that pass. Better defensive possession by the beach, even though they got caught with a mismatch. Force the turnover from the Aggies. Sometimes you have to be forced to win an ugly game, and that's what this has been. Let's see if the beach can win it. Here's Eugene Phelps, right-handed hook comes up empty, but a foul, and Eugene, with a nice aggressive take, will get himself to the free throw line. Good to see the beach attacking the basket. That's exactly what they need to be doing, finding the interior presence of Eugene Phelps, T.J. Robinson. Look to see who's guarding him. If they got the freshman, either Richard or Kurtz on him, they got to exploit that mismatch as we see Eugene miss the first free throw here, but that's exactly what they need to be doing, looking inside and taking advantage of their strength and size against the UC Davis freshman. One more free throw coming for Eugene Phelps as Eddie Miller comes back in for Davis and Silver rests. It's on the way and good for Eugene, so one out of two on that trip. The beach is now five out of eight from the charity stripe. It's 35-33, and a foul will be called on Long Beach. The official at the near side said Casper Ware reached in and created some contact trying to steal the ball away near midcourt. That's the second on Casper and the second team foul on the beach. Long Beach State's not in any foul trouble tonight. The Aggies, however... Slightly in foul trouble right now. They have five as a squad as Harden inbounds with a bounce pass to Miller. Feeds it into the corner. Richard for three. No good short. Rebound deflected out into the backcourt. Let's see who gets it first. It's Eugene Phelps going to the bucket. Layup no. Tip up is good. Credit Tristan Wilson. Great hustle play all around. Eugene wanted that ball more than anybody. Didn't get the finish, but Tristan was there to pick up the pieces. Wilson now with six points off the bench on three out of five shoots. Shooting, and the lead is up to four, the biggest in the second half for Long Beach State with 12.05 to go. Here's Howley for three for Davis, no good. Rebounded by Phelps, his ninth rebound of the game. The outlet to Greg Plater, he finds Diversovic in the front court. Edis with a pass to the far side to Casper. Good feed back to Diversovic, but he missed the layup. And the rebound for Davis and Joe Harden. That was a gorgeous pass. The give and go. Diversovic working with Casper Ware. 11.42 remaining. Still 37 to 33. Long Beach State. Nine points and ten rebounds, by the way, in the game now for Eugene Phelps. It's been one of his best efforts of the year. Here's Joe Harden, guarded by Phelps, up top to Seitkins. Thinks about the three. He pumps once, now gets double team. Picked up defensively and a switch by Diversovic as he uses the left-handed dribble and steps out of bounds. That was a terrible offensive possession. Seitkins handled the ball the entire time, used the dribble, tried to get to the basket, and then stepped on the end line. Fantastic defense once again all around from all the Long Beach State players. UC Davis couldn't even get what resembled a look at all at the basket. And you see in their offensive possessions, they're always looking for Harden on the bailout. So if you can guard Harden, you're going to do well as Casper Ware puts up a three and knocks it down. This is the run that I was talking about. I can see the fire in their eyes, Rob. Casper now with eight points. It's 44-33, the first double-digit lead of the game. Nine and a half minutes to go. 
Les handles the dribble, feeds it near midcourt to Howley, right side to Silva. Good job defensively by the beach here in the second half. Howley has the basketball outside, Harden for three. No good off to the left. Rebound deflected right to Tristan Wilson. Here comes the beach the other way. It's Anderson to the free throw line. Righty floater is no good. A lot of contact. Offensive rebound. Put back. Good. On the foul for Eugene Phelps. Long Beach State's defense has triggered this run. They're not allowing Davis to do anything on the offensive end, not getting good looks at all at the basket, and then they're getting out and they're running, taking advantage of their athleticism, their explosiveness, and Eugene Phelps cleaning up the mess that time. Just Long Beach State has just decided to dominate this game. What a night for Eugene Phelps. He has a double-double, 11 points and 11 rebounds. He looks for the three-point play and converts. It's 47-33, Long Beach State with 8.55 to go. And a timeout has been taken by UC Davis. I was wondering how long they were going to wait. And finally, Gary Stewart, their head coach, has seen enough. Bob Render and Brett Beeson at the Pyramid, 8.53 remaining. It's 47-33 Long Beach State. They have their biggest lead of the ball game, and it couldn't come at a better time as Howley will inbound from the near sideline in the front court. You see Davis with the basketball, that timeout taken pretty much out of desperation. I think the Aggies know if they're going to make a run and get back in it, it's going to have to come right now. As Joel Harden handles the dribble with 15 to shoot, bounce pass to Silva, right back to Harden again, looking to go one-on-one -on -one with Robinson, finds Silva instead. He'll skip it far side to Howley, lob it into the post, go into the bucket as Tiffin, whose layup is good. Much better possession this time from the Aggies. The beach races the other way into the front court as Casper Ware finds Phelps near the top of the circles. Right side, Wilson. Good feed to Phelps. He looks underneath to Robinson, but TJ lost it, and it's stolen away. Taken away by Ryan Silva, who had the quick hands. The Aggies, with eight minutes to go in the game, launch a three. That's Howley. Hits the backside of the rim. Rebounded by Long Beach State. Anderson down the lane. Layup. Good. And a foul. Larry Anderson in transition is so effective, so very difficult to guard. He's agile, quick, knows how to get to the spot he wants on the floor, and can finish with contact. What a wonderful finish for Larry Anderson, who now has nine points to go along with four rebounds and a chance at getting into double figures when we come back. That'll be part of a two-game road trip for the Beach. they will also face Cal State Northridge. Really, two more flights this year for Long Beach State, longer trips. They fly Davis and they fly Pacific on January the 26th. Other than that, a lot of road trips that are more local, bus trips, if you will. And that, of course, favors Long Beach State. Chance to sleep in your own bed and go out play against teams that are your local rivals like Fullerton and Irvine and so on. As Larry Anderson goes to the free throw line and completes a three-point play. That gives him 10 points, becomes the third Long Beach player in double figures tonight, joining Phelps and Plater. It's 50-35, to 35, biggest lead of the night for the 49ers with 7.45 to go. Sipkins for UC Davis, backs it out near midcourt, now tries to work himself toward the bucket. 15 to shoot as Silva handles at the top of the circles. Uses the left-handed dribble, streaks the baseline. Kick it cross court to Sipkins, has the ball stripped away from behind. The long outlet pass to Anderson, but they called a foul. Couldn't really hear the whistle because of the loud 2,633 fans tonight at the Pyramid. That would have been a breakaway dunk for Larry Anderson, but instead the foul from behind. It's going to be called on Larry, which is his second. You can hear Dan Munson off the bench for Long Beach State. At least we can, yelling at the official, are you sure? And I'm guessing he's going to say yes. He yeah, he's going to say. say yes, but that was not a foul. Uh, I'm not sure either. Ryan Seipkins hands off to Joe Harden at the left wing. Up top, Miller, right side, and a deep three from Silva is no good. Nice job grabbing the rebound by Eugene Phelps. He went right over the top of about three UC Davis Aggies. Here's Casper Ware in the corner for three. No good. He comes up short, rebounded by Miller. 
So the Aggies still trailing it by 15 as we near seven minutes to go. Here's Sipkins, bounce pass, low left block. Harden trying to go to work on Robinson. Feels him from behind, turns around at the baseline. Shot no good, too strong. And on the rebound, a foul on the Aggies. Yet another rebound for Eugene Phelps, his 13th of the game. And the foul will be called on Alex Tiffin, which is his fifth. So Tiffin fouls out. It's the ninth on the Aggies as a team, which means Eugene Phelps will march to this side and shoot the one and one. Eugene's really having one heck of a game. He came out at the beginning, the onset of this game, with great energy, and that's carried throughout, just cleaning up the glass, a man on a mission. Double-double tonight for Eugene with those 12 points and 13 huge rebounds. So Tiffin fouls out. He finishes with two points and two rebounds as Mike Kurtz comes back in. We haven't seen a lot of the seven-foot freshmen tonight as Eugene Phelps sets up for the front end of the one and one, which is on the way and no good. It rattled out, rebounded by Joel Harden of UC Davis. 50 to 35, Long Beach State, 6.49 to go as Eddie Miller it out near midcourt, dangerous pass deflected and goes out of bounds. Greg Plater touched it last. There could have easily been a foul called as Plater was trying to get to the ball. He was being held up by Ryan Seitkins, but the officials put the whistles away. That's why you hear all the booing, however, in the background for the Long Beach faithful. 18 seconds to shoot for the Aggies. Miller at the elbow, outside to Silva, back to Miller again near the wing, gets himself into the paint, makes the defender jump in the air, and then knocks down a seven-footer. Nice job by Miller. Here's Greg Plater the other way for Long Beach State, back outside to Larry Anderson. Anderson right side to Casper Ware in front of his own bench, looking for Robinson, tries to lob it to him, but it's stolen away. Casper then tries to steal it back, but he bumped into Robinson and lost the ball. The other way come UC Davis. The ball's loose on the ground, pinballing everywhere as it goes finally to Joe Harden. He's open underneath the bucket, and he lays it in. And a foul will be called, either that or a timeout. So a timeout taken by Long Beach State off the inbound pass as the lead is all of a sudden down to 11 at 50 to 39 with exactly six minutes to go. That They lost 48 to 43. These are the kind of games that Cal Poly forces you to typically play. Low scoring, sloppy, misses quite frequently. Although surprising that when Long Beach played Cal Poly this year, it was the exact opposite. They played a fantastic game, had their composure throughout. Tonight, it's been a different kind of game. Here's Eugene Phelps for Long Beach State, handing off to Casper Ware in the front court. Around the outside it goes. Back to Phelps in the low right block. Going to work on Kurtz. Finds Anderson streaking the lane, and his layup is good. Beautifully executed out of the timeout. Larry cutting to the rack and Eugene finding him. 52 to 39 with 5 minutes, 25 seconds to go. Maybe the best all-around game of the year for Eugene Phelps. He has been outstanding on both ends. Here's Harden going to work on Phelps. Makes a beautiful move. And his left-handed layup is up and in. And then the beach has trouble with the dribble, but it's out of bounds off of Davis. So Long Beach State will retain possession with 33 seconds to shoot. Phelps, four out of seven from the field, four out of six from the line, 12 points, 13 rebounds, and a pair of assists. As Ware finds Anderson, chest pass right corner to Greg Plater. The defender gets in the air as Greg misses a three, rebounded by UC Davis. Exactly five minutes to go. Here's Seipkins for three, and he puts it in. How about that? The lead all of a sudden is down to 52-44, just an eight-point spread. A couple of minutes ago, it was 15 as Larry Anderson handles for the beach. Up top, Casper Ware, guarded by Seipkins, finds Robinson, into the corner to Anderson, they double team him. Now it's TJ in the post, somebody has to be open, it's Casper for three, no good off to the left, nice rebound, able to track it down with Greg Plater along the baseline. So Greg gets the big rebound right when the team needed it with under four and a half minutes to go. The shot clock still with 24 seconds. It's Anderson at the right wing. Good job by Miller to get up on him 
and defend him very closely. Up top he goes to Casper Ware, ahead of the circles, works the left side of the key. Up top Phelps now, back outside to Casper Ware with 10 seconds to shoot. The beach will have to hurry. It's Ware getting double teamed, 25 feet from the basket, crossover dribble, dangerous pass, goes out of bounds off of Eugene Phelps. And that is turnover number 18 on the 49ers. It takes up to the under four minute media timeout. Richard, Silva, Harden, Seitkins, and Eddie Miller for UC Davis. As the Aggies will have the basketball, they'll have to bring it the length of the floor. Richard will handle at six foot nine, crosses the timeline, and hands off to the 5'10", Silva. Back to Richard at the elbow, back to the basket, has the ball deflected, nearly stolen away. He gets it right back, feeds Seitkins to the free throw line, picks up the dribble, kicks it out to Harden. Harden tries to go back to the basket, into the corner, Richard for three, no good long. Rebound tipped up and in by Miller. S spectacular finish by Miller floating through that lane and kissing it off the window with a nice touch with the one hand. Eddie Miller has eight. It's 52-46 with 3.18 to go. So the lead, beach lead is precarious at best. Here's Phelps with a crossover dribble near the top of the circles. Hand off to Anderson. Right back to Phelps. Streaks the baseline and he jams it in with both hands. Man, how easy is it for Eugene Phelps to rise up and throw that ball down? Eugene Phelps with 14 13 points and 13 rebounds tonight. The lead is back up to eight. Here's Miller to the free throw line. Rises and fires and puts it home. That's a big time shot with the defender all over him, taking it to the left and pulling it up. 54-48. Casper Ware streaks the right side of the lane and he lays it up and in off the window. Beautiful move from Casper Ware who's into double figures with 10 points. Seipkins now for UC Davis in the offensive end with two and a half minutes left. Picks up the dribble at the wing. Outside to Miller. Good defense from his opposite number, Anderson. Hand off Harden. Outside Miller for three. No good short. Rebound Eugene Phelps. Phelps will outlet to Anderson. Larry into the front court. Outside to Plater. Into the corner. Ware for three. No good long. Every time the beach has a chance to get the crowd into it, they come up a little bit empty. 56-48 Long Beach State with two minutes and one second to go. As Ryan Seitkins feeds it left side to Silva. Back up top, Seikens. Now it's Silva down the left side of the key. Outside Miller for three. No good. Another rebound for Eugene Phelps. He'll outlet to where? The lob to Anderson. He misses the dunk attempt and then turns the ball over at the baseline. Stolen away by Silva. It's three on two the other way. Harden to the bucket. Layup good. Time out. UC Davis with 1.36 to go. The lead back down to six. 56 to 50. It's 56 50 as UC Davis is going to pick up in a full court trap with a minute and 36 to go. The beach will inbound in their own backcourt. Anderson runs the baseline and hands off to Casper Ware, the point guard. And the junior will take his time working himself across the midcourt stripe, feeding it to Larry Anderson with 25 to shoot. The beach can get the game clock to right about a minute on this possession. Anderson uses the crossover dribble, guarded by Miller, who's had a very solid second half. Larry near the half-court line, still guarded by Miller with eight to shoot. Dribbles into the paint, goes underneath, throw up good, but they're going to wave it off. Taking the charge is Joe Harden as the official underneath the bucket made the call. The charge block call is the hardest call in the game of basketball. That time Larry Anderson having the lane open open up to him, seeing that with the ball in his dominant hand, he loves to go to the right, he exploded to the basket, good job of the defense to slide underneath, get that charge call, it's one of those that could have gone either way, Rob. And Joe Harden's one of those kind of players, not afraid to take a charge, even though Larry had a head of steam. Here's Miller at the free throw line, got himself up in the air, finds Harden, he knocks over the defender, Phelps, and they're going to call an offensive foul on Joe Harden, so that's your payback call. Yeah, very clever play by Eugene Phelps, sensing that Harden was 
is going to come with that spin move, which we've seen two or three times in this ball game on that low left block. So Eugene had a good memory, very effective play. 55 seconds to go as Casper Ware slips on the inbound. The ball is taken away, and the layup good from Ryan Seipkins. 53.9 seconds left, and all of a sudden the lead is down to four. 56 to 52 as a timeout will be taken by Dan Munson in Long Beach State. As UC Davis will again pick up full court, Larry Anderson will have the inbounding responsibilities for Long Beach underneath his own defensive basket. You sure he's looking for where? Instead, he'll go to Greg Plater on the near side and a foul given. It's going to be on Miller. And that means double bonus time. It's the 10th team foul on UC Davis. So Greg Plater will march to the near side and shoot a pair of free throws on the year. He's 71%, 20 out of 28. And he's your senior, so if you're not going to have Casper at the line, this is the guy you want. It is the guy that you want. He's, Greg's not accustomed to being in this situation, only going to the line as we see him miss the first. This is the fourth time, and it'll be his fifth trip now with his next shot that he's gone to the line in the last five minutes of ballgame. So he's not accustomed to being in this situation, but the senior should be able to knock this second effort down. As Richard and Silva come back in for UC Davis, the second free throw is good from Plater, so one out of two. And with under 50 seconds to go, a five-point Long Beach lead. Here's Seipkins, near wing, picks up the dribble, outside to Richard, 43 seconds, Seipkins for three, no good long, rebound loose, taken by Davis. The kickout goes to Seipkins. He'll dribble the left side. Finds Miller. Miller up in the air. Finds Harden. Layup. No good. It rolled off the rim. Ball is loose and taken away by Davis. Seipkins for three. Got it. You get three chances. Chances are you're going to capitalize on one of them. And Seipkins stepped up. His fourth three-pointer in this ballgame. Timeout. You see Davis with 25.2 seconds to go. Where inbounding, a bit unusual. Usually it's Larry Anderson's job. But instead, Casper inbounding in the backcourt. Looks for Larry, finds him, gives it right back to Casper. They'll double team him in the corner, and a timeout will be taken by Long Beach. As Ware threw the ball to Anderson, Larry was disappointed. He thought he would have had a breakout to the basket. But that was a very smart timeout as Casper was trapped in the far corner with 20.6 seconds remaining. The beach does not have to take a shot. The shot clock is turned off. Don't commit yourself to committing that foul right away. See if you can get a steal opportunity and perhaps an easy basket while the ball is in the backcourt. But now Long Beach State does not have the luxury of running that baseline or making that pass like they just made. They will have to stay stationary on the inbounds. This has been a great effort from an undermanned, outsized, outskilled UC Davis team playing on the road after they traveled to Southern California yesterday. I'm very impressed with what I've seen. Larry Anderson will inbound this time for Long Beach State. Nobody to throw the ball to. He has to feed it to Eugene Phelps. And a foul given by Howley. That's not the guy that Long Beach wanted to send to the line. But a good job on the inbound defense from Davis forced Long Beach State to give it to Eugene Phelps. And that's what they've been doing the entire game. This UC Davis Aggie squad has just made it very difficult for Long Beach State to inbound the ball in all kinds of situations. Let's see if Eugene is up for the challenge here in the waning moment of this basketball game. The junior Phelps has been to the line more than any other 49er this year. This will be attempt number 97 as it's on the way and good. Very nice looking stroke from Phelps. He's 64% on the year. That makes it a three-point lead at 58-55 with 19.4 seconds left as Richard comes back into the game for the Aggies. And one more free throw coming. This is a big one to make it a two-possession game. It's up. And no good. It rolled off the rim. Rebounded by Davis. They'll look for the three. 15 seconds to go. Seipkins in the front court. Around a hardened screen. Surveys the defense. Puts up a three. No good in and out. The ball deflected out back near midcourt. And it will be out of bounds. Long Beach ball. Whew. The Beach dodged a serious bullet there. Seipkins had a fantastic look from beyond the arc. Just unable to capitalize. Huge break for the Beach. 5.5. Five seconds remaining. Long Beach will inbound near midcourt. 
at the sideline. It's going to be Larry Anderson. All they need to do is secure the inbound and make one free throw as the ball goes into the backcourt to Casper Ware. The foul given by Seitkins. Casper threw an elbow there. I don't know that the official saw it. I'm also not sure that Casper intended to. Either way, the foul on Seitkins will send Ware to the free throw line for two. And with 4.1 seconds remaining, if Casper can make one, just one, that should secure the victory. The officials stop play, and they're going to go to the monitor. I wonder if this is to look at that elbow given from Casper Ware. I think it's to look at the clock situation. The clock instead. I don't know that you can review a non-call. In fact, I'm not sure that you can review any foul call, period. Uh, unless it's an intentional foul, and they're looking to determine whether it should be an intentional or not. Yep. As the officials take a look at the screen near midcourt, fortunate for them that this is a TV game. Right now the clock reads 4.1 seconds. That foul was on Seitkins, which is his third. But Ryan Seitkins had an opportunity at the far wing. A chance to tie the game with a three, and it was halfway down before it came out. So the Beach retains their three-point advantage at 58 to 55. As the officials are done looking at the screen, and so Casper will shoot free throws for Long Beach State. He will shoot a pair to try to add to the three-point lead. Then you see Davis will go to the other end. They'll shoot two free throws and get the ball out of bounds. That couldn't have worked out any better for the Aggies as Ware's first free throw is good. This is a huge second one now for Casper Ware. And let's see if the junior can convert. Over 80% for the season, and he does make them both. Calm, cool, and collected. So it's going to be Joe Harden that will shoot the technical free throws for UC Davis with 4.1 seconds left. It's a five-point lead for now for Long Beach State as Harden's first is no good. That's a huge miss. If he would have made them both, it would have given Davis the ball in a one-possession game as the second one is in. So make it 60 to 56 Long Beach State, but it's still a two possession lead for the beach with 4.1 seconds to go. That miss from Joe Harden might have cost his team an opportunity here in the waning seconds. They'll have to inbound near midcourt at the sideline. It goes to Miller, no foul given as he puts up a three, no good. Rebound Robinson, and that is your ball game. The Beach survives here at home to advance to 5-0 starting Big West play this season. They're now 10-8 overall and collect their fifth consecutive.